Okay, getting ready to take apart all these uh, caps here, connecting rods. I'm going to pull these out. This here is a looks like a 13 millimeter uh, 12 point bolt. I'm gonna turn the crank up to get this, I'm gonna give it a smack. Okay. To get this off, I'm just gonna give it a little tap here on the sides. Keep pulling this cap off. Look at the bearings a little bit. Oh, no, no. Got a little bit of scoring. Oh. All right. All right. Taking these uh, caps off, we're, we're just tearing this engine down, so we're not reusing anything. But if you were doing this at home, you'd probably want to mark your caps so you know which connecting rod goes where. Uh, keep track of everything if you're putting it back together also when you take when you take this uh, connecting rod cap off if you notice here there's a tang on this side or the tang let me take this insert out see this little there's the tang there and the tang is here it fits in there only one way but remember tang to tang in other words I wouldn't want to try to put put my bearing in I wouldn't want to put it on this way because I want tang to tang okay so I'm gonna pop this connecting rod and piston out and I'll look at the other side here's the uh, connecting rod I'm just gonna throw this back together get it out of the way Like I said, when you're putting these together, tang to tang. We'll do the next one. Okay, getting ready to take off the oil pump and the pickup tube, and I'm just gonna take this one bolt off, and this drive shaft should go down and be driven off the cam. Well, there should be a drive shaft, but controlling this pump. But to get this pump off, I'm just gonna take this one 15 millimeter bolt off. Then not, I don't know. This here's a oil pump. Should just fit in. It's it's keyed, and it goes down. Which hole was that? Feels like that hole. And it fits right in. Yep, this hole here. This goes and digs into your uh, driven off your cam gear. I used to think that's where it goes. But that's how you get the oil pump off. Taking the oil pump out gives you access to all the other caps. Alright, just gonna pull these caps off. That's enough, I can get it. Get this last bolt. If I was reusing uh, 
if I was going to reuse this these parts I'd be able to take them out a little more gently but we're just using this for scrap so I'm just going to pop these out Spun too, looks like. Yeah, that spun. Oh, well, maybe not. Right there it is. Oh, yeah, it's, it's flat. It's spun. Yep, that's a spun bearing too, yep. And those tangs are squashed flat. That's not good. That's another, uh, another spun bearing. Alright, let, let me pop out this one. Thanks. Shut these out of the way. I'm gonna take this uh, cover off water pump. Right here is a 13 millimeter. Another 13 millimeter here. Change this out. Got a 15 millimeter. Taking off this bracket, and I'm going to pull the crank sensor. This is a was it 8 millimeter. All right, going to take off the uh, crankshaft position sensor. that taken off. Here's a crank sensor. Three wire sensor. Okay. Just got another 13. See more bolts. Should be able to pull this cover off. Getting ready to pull this cover off. Got all the bolts out of it. You just kind of grab a hold of it, give it a little wiggle, pop the cover off. That's the cover. Well, I, uh, I turned this engine up the right side up just to show you guys the, the timing chain. Uh, this here is the, the camshaft timing gear. This here is the crankshaft timing gear. And typically, if I was going to rebuild this engine and put it back together, I would make sure my number one cylinder was at top dead center. Uh, and if you're looking at the block here, if you're looking at the block here, this here is your number one cylinder. And the way you can tell which one your number one cylinder is, if you didn't know, you can either look it up on the internet or just look at, you notice how this, 
this cylinder head on the right side stops way back here and this one comes up forward way up here so you, typically the cylinder that's forward the most is the number one cylinder so if you were setting this up to read to read to do the timing replace the chain you'd, you'd set this you'd set your timing up so that the number one cylinder was at top dead center and you'd look here at your crank and line up your marks I don't know if you can see it on the camera here but right here there's a there's a timing mark right here on the cam crank and there's a timing mark on the crankshaft down below there's a little dot I don't know if you can see this or not but there's a dot right there you want to line up the dot sometimes it could be keyed off the keyway here but this one's not this one's keyed off this little timing mark so what you do I mean you can get a straight edge or kind of make sure everything's lining up but if you have these two dots here like they are and you're at top dead center your, your timing should be good so if I was going to replace this that's how I'd set it up to replace to replace the uh, uh, timing chain also that what holds these time that you can tell right here this one's really got a lot of slack in it but there's actually a measurement in the book you can tell you I don't know what it is if you don't have the manual but you can actually check it for stretch and play but uh really if it was me I'd I'd, I'd, I'd think that was too too much okay getting ready to take off the uh, camshaft position sensor up top here it's an eight millimeter You just grab it and give it a pull. Should pull right out. And to get a screwdriver. Get a screwdriver. And just get it. Just give it a little pull. Cam shaft, cam position sensor. I think that's what that is. Yeah. That'll be. Gonna pull this uh, lift lifter hold downs. There's two 10 millimeter bolts on each one, and it should be able to pull the lifters. Pull this side. These just pop off. These actually hold down. You can see how they would hold down the lifters. They just pull right out, sit on, pull off. Same thing with this one, they just pull right off. Those are the lifter hold downs. Now do you keep these here in order? Yes, if I was rebuilding this engine or gonna change, reuse these lifters for, for whatever reason, I would wanna make sure these stay in order for sure you wouldn't want to mix these up and put them back in there uh you you'd, you'd, you'd probably have a box or something and keep track of it mark them uh but you want to make sure if you're going to reuse these lifters that they go back in the same spot you got them these are hydraulic lifters they should just pull right out they're slippery i usually use a magnet get something to get a grip yeah. things are real slippery they just pull out that's a hydraulic roller lifter you just pull all these out I could tell this engine oil is real dirty and nasty and kind of gritty uh, just really, I don't think whoever had this engine took care of it very well. Do you ever take them apart and clean them? Yeah, I got a couple videos on them. Oh, you do have videos on them? Yep. Just pull that out. 
Yeah, I showed how to break these down and take them apart. These look just like the ones on a GM like 350. Look almost exactly the same. A little bit shorter. These normally should be pretty easy to come out. These are being difficult. Probably too much sludge. Yep. There's and evidence burnish. that a couple of them got hot. Too much varnish. Yeah, a lot of crap on sludgy. Oh yeah, got all the lifters out. Once you take all the lifters out, you can pull the camshaft. And I'm going to do that next. 